and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some mono green MoWoo. That's right, we're playing some MoWoo. As you can see, Hawkeye's all excited about some MoWoo getting played in a standard. The loyal companion, the goodest of boys, we have MoWoo. It's four mana, three, three, vigilant trample. If one or more one encounters would be put on MoWoo, you put that many plus one instead. So you get to add an extra counter every time you put a counter on MoWoo. So we're going to need ways to put counters on MoWoo. We don't have a ton, but we have a few. Uh, we have Jing Yangju. That could be wrong. I'm going to go with Wildcrafter. We have the Wildcrafter that can put a counter on MoWoo. And then also, and it has that little, the little art of, look at that little MoWoo in the corner. Look at that little MoWoo over there. So good. Uh, you know, then can uh, be tap, you know, all your creatures with a counter can now add mana. We have, of course, Vivian adding counters. Vivian's just amazing. And then we got the Great Henge as well. Great Henge is going to be our way to be able to play into the late game and everything like that. Um, yeah, Mowu is jacked. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that that's cool what our deck's about. I I really thought about making this deck, you know, it's like the challenge build in Mowu deck. Really thought about making it Gruul, because Gruul, you get Domri's Ambush and Grum Goalie, and then also I was going to play Rhythm of the Wild. But I didn't. Re there wasn't really anything else I wanted to play in red, and I thought it may be better just to make it like make our mana really good, because you know having a whole bunch of four, you know, it makes it a lot easier to play Vivian if we go mono green instead. So we went Vivian, Yorvo, and that kind of stuff. Hi, hey, do. Um, so yeah, our, our deck's about like you know one one counter uh, synergies. Um, we have proliferating with the evolution sage. Um, you know, like, we just have, like, the one Evolution Sage. Um, you know, we got a couple of Voracious Hydras. But we can, and, you know, a couple of Wildborn Preservers. But we can find those cards uh, because of the Once Upon a Time. So we don't have to play, like, a whole bunch of copies of them. Once Upon a Time's help dig for them. I also have just, like, one Aboreal Grazer. I didn't really want to play Gilded Goose. But I didn't want to have, like, zero one-drops. And Aboreal Grazer, you know, I only have 24 land. So it's not something... I didn't want to just play, like, a whole bunch of Aboreal Grazers. Because then you're like, I don't want to draw a Boreal Grazer later on. This is kind of like a card that, like, if we have it turn one, you know, it could be pretty nice. You know, it could help us out, but it's not really a card I want to draw later on. And with it being a, a 1-3 or an 0-3, you know, we could have, like, Vivian put counters on it to make it a real creature. If we ever play, like, Grazer turn one, Ying Zhen, Ying or the Wildcrafter. We're going to go with the Wildcrafter. We play the Wildcrafter. We put a counter on the Grazer. Now it can start adding mana. I don't know. I think it's just fine just to have like the one Aboreal Grazer. It's not something that I'm relying on, but it's not something that I really mind. For the late game, though, you know, it's like we're trying to like get our creatures out. And then we have a pretty, we have a good amount of card advantage in here. You know, Vivian helps us find more creatures. Um, so, you know, that helps us keep going. But then, of course, the Great Henge. Like, this is what our deck's going to be about. Like, you know, getting great the great henge in play, playing a bunch of creatures, drawing a bunch of cards. That's what our deck's going to be about there. Speaking of the draw card thing, I wanted to try out this other rare that I haven't seen. Um, yeah, I morphed into a cat. Um, I haven't seen any return of the wild speaker, and I wanted to just try it out. You know, maybe we pump up all of our creatures, give them plus three, plus three, instant speed, and steal a win from the opponent. Or maybe if we have a large MoWu, you know, like we put a couple of counters on MoWu, but each time it gets doubled. Um, so, you know, like we have a larger MoWu or like a, a big Wildborn Preserver or, or, you know, Yorvo gets pretty big. You know, Vivian can make large creatures. We just can draw just a ton of cards with Return of the Wild Speakers. I think, it, I don't know, this could be a fun card to try out. This could be a, a fun card to try out. So that's what we got going on. I'm going to be going with some Titanic Brawls in the sideboard if we want some fight spells, especially if we got our 1-1 one -one counters on our stuff. It's just one mana instant speed fight. That's that's kind of cool. Spyglass obviously shut down Oko. Oko is Broko. Got to shut down Oko. So we got Spyglass in here. Um, and that's what we got. So we're going to play a league with this donation deck here. And see if we can get five wins. With Mono Green Mowu. We're 
we're playing against Manu, Manu with Mowu. Uh, sure. So once upon a time, I'm going to be grabbing a land here. So we got a three land hand. There's basically nothing I'm going to take over a land. Well, <laughs> I didn't have any other options. Mowu is legendary, of course. This could be a deafening Clarion deck. And that would be annoying. I want to draw all the spells we put to the bottom. We just put like two Planeswalkers and a Great Henge down at the bottom, and those are the cards that I want to be drawing. Who are they taking? Mamowu? Yeah, don't take my Mowu. You can have the fox. Hmm. This would have been nice to draw a planeswalker. At least we know we're not going to draw another Arboreal Grazer because there's only one in the deck. No, I am not making this up as I go. Wow, Teferi just likes to bounce puppies. That's not cool. Hydra does look pretty voracious. Here goes nothing. <laughs> All right, we need Saddleback Legac. That's a great card. Mobu has evolved. Should have seen that coming. Feel the heat of come to me. Questing Mawu. So I can just draw four. I want to just draw four. Hmm. That was pretty cool. Sure, if I should play that or not. <laughs> what 
watch this. Yeah, we're playing we're playing Vivian's. Like Vivian is our main way to put counters on Mowu. Um and we also have a Jing Yang Jing Yangju. Yeah, Vivian is the main card to put counters on stuff. Yeah, Mobu went from three tails to three heads. <laughs> I train every day. Meditate and prepare. Are you ready? My opponents kind of had like the ideal cards over and over again. In a world without Field of the Dead, what would be the best? Yeah, Nissa goes up in value a ton without Field of the Dead. Um, obviously, I mean, Oko is just incredible right now anyway. Like it's, whether or not there's Field of the Dead, it doesn't really change that Oko is incredible. That card's just incredibly powerful. But Nissa is a lot more valuable Magnificent. without Field of the Dead. Just hard casting Great Henge over here. All right. So another Vivian, we'll get all these spy glasses in. The Ceratops, we need haste. I could see playing Veil of Summer. Fortunately, I probably, like with bringing in Ceratops, I probably am supposed to cut Mowu. Unfortunately. I don't even know if that's something we can do, though. Can we even cut Mowu? We gotta keep at least one Mowu in. No, I don't think Oko will be banned. Twenty creatures? That is not very many creatures. I need to take out two spells. What spells can I take out? Like once upon a time? No, 43% 40, of the decks in the Mythic Championship were Golos. Not 60%. Hey, Bleeding Black. Hello, hello. Don't love this hand against sweepers. Yeah, especially, you know, Clarion. I'm pretty worried about Clarion here. 
I'm not going to be playing the other Incubation Druid. Maybe, so they said the announcer said 60%. Maybe, like, was there was there a cut to day two? Like, to, like that that could be a thing if there was, like, I, I don't know if there was, if there was, you know, like, less people in day two than in day one, and maybe, so maybe it was 60% of day two, and maybe that's what they were talking about. I just don't really have good options here. I don't want to extend too much into a wrath. Playing Yorvo because Yorvo doesn't die to Clarion. Responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. Last game we had enough lands to hard cast the Great Henge. <laughs> We're getting a little stuck over here this game. Once we draw the fifth man, I'm going to just play Growth Chamber Guardian and adapt it. There we go. So I know we put a couple of Planeswalkers down at the bottom of the library. I guess we put a, a Vivian and a Zhang Yang Ju. A WoW Crafter. So many prison realms. We need back to nature. I 
just don't think they have removal for this. Good. Looking for one of those great hinges. Awesome. You missed way to go. Glad you glad you got there. The mono black list, that's really cool. Good job. <laughs> I think the jail the jail cell is getting a, kind of full in here, boss. Let us fight. Your end has arrived. So they got five cards. I think that's a win for us trading shifting Ceratops for Sarkin. Together we can banish evil from this plane. I believe in you, friend. Hey, Balder. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. You do not frighten. All right, so that's sub number 17 with Balder. Prepare for battle. If you wish to surrender now, I own your prowess. That's kind of weird that like we only have 20 creatures in the deck and I talked about how like that wasn't very many creatures and that's like all we have drawn is creatures. We have so much in the deck that are not creatures. Luna! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub, Luna. Sub number 18. I was not prepared for I this. am not quite indestructible. You know, we have six Vivians, three Great Henge. We also have the the five mana the card that draws a bunch of cards, whatever that thing's called. Return of the Wild Speaker. So you know like those ten. Haven't seen any of those ten yet. We also have the Jing Yang Zhu, but that isn't as impactful.
Hmm. Well, I don't think they would use double Clarion if they just had a time wipe. Frisky Biscuits! Number 19, thank you so much there, Biscuits. Alright, one away from another sub goal. Of course, what the sub goals do is whenever we hit 20 total of the sub goals, then I do a 12 hour stream. And we've hit 11 since our last 12 hour stream. Which is actually on Wednesday. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Evo Neo. Oh no. Let's try that again. Evo Neo? Evo Neo. There we go. That's that sounds correct. You are a rock star. Thanks for getting us to number 20. Evo Neo. I really appreciate that. Well, we're back to mana. Of hard casting. I've got time. We're back to hard casting the Bleh. Is it called the Great Henge? We can hard cast the Great Henge now. <laughs> this is what I do for a day job. John Player, yeah, I do I do this every day. Let's try this. What know you of dragon? Behold! Hmm. No, the sub goals are, are 10 subs each, usually. Oh, I didn't put down a new one. Um. All right, we still haven't seen any of our ten, any of our ten heavy hitters. Trust Great Henge, Planeswalkers, played. our big card draw spell. I haven't drawn any of those ten yet. I do not hate you. No, I do this. Um, uh, oh, oh, really? Uh, no, I, I do this every day. So saying bleh is close to a Russian obscene word. Huh. Well, maybe I should stop doing that. I'll probably forget about that, though. Mawu. Yeah, Mawu took down Teferi. Good job, Mawu. Way to take down Teferi. Thanks, Roger. Two mages do the goodest boy taken down to fairy. Yeah. 
Yay, Vivian. See you around. They've been probably... They, I was going to say, yeah, they probably have like that Dovin's Veto for their last card that they've been sitting there waiting... All right, going to decline. We're on a we're on a hot streak. Yeah, they've been probably just waiting for me to play a planeswalker. Ugh, so that's unfortunate. That did keep them from ca from activating Castle Vantress last turn, though. The Great Henge. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't play the Preserver first and then play Growth Chamber and put a ton of counters on Preserver because then if they if they would draw a sweeper like that, then I would have nothing. Those who lose, and me. You can have a counter, Wanderer. You're cool. That was just game two. That was not a match win. Just game two. All right, well, I don't have any disenchants in here. So I can't get rid of all those prison realms that my opponent likes to play. Let's keep it going. Mono green Mowu. Mowu took down to fairy. It was glorious. We had all our creatures last game, so we're probably gonna have all of our spells this game. Our deck is pretty close to a third land, a third spells, a third creatures. It's pretty close to that. 10, 11, 15. So we have like 17 spells. Which is almost a third of the deck. Didn't really seem like that last game. Nope. No spells, just <laughs> just creatures again. My opponent had a ton of ether gusts last game. Which I guess I could have played Veil of Summer to stop Ether Gust. So this is tough. You know, like obviously playing Growth Chamber Guardian is better than playing nothing, but if my opponent kills Growth Chamber Guardian before we get to adapt, that's not very good for me. I'm gonna not play it. You know, like we need to be able to play for a, a very long game like that. We need to be able to adapt our Growth Chamber Guardians. Playing it would have kept them from minusing Narset a second time. Open 
mind. The only companion I need is my blade. I must re bye bye now. The Wanderer. Farewell. No Sarkin. No, because yeah, wander is is uh, to you and other other permanents. So if we try to kill something, if we try to k kill something else, but it doesn't, wander does not prevent damage to itself. Of ether gust. <laughs> Mowu's bark is much cuter than his bite. Ah, Mowu's bark is much cuter than his bite. We begin. Look to the skies. I, I won't forget again. To them roar. <laughs> you think uh, you're a no, warrior. I didn't. Uh, age gaming. So if I attack Narset, then they, they you know, they coming. can only attack for four, not not attack for eight. Um, if I do attack Narset, you know, they can make a four four though. That could be annoying to deal with. So with this, as long as they don't have instant speed removal, I can play Growth Chamber Guardian and then have Vivian kill Sarkin. Right on schedule. So we at least can get Sarkin out of here. Here we go. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. If I had one more mana and I could adapt Growth Chamber Guardian there and place Spyglass, I would have done that. You're done. Yeah, Spyglass is, is a good draw. I've got it. Worried about them killing my Growth Chamber Guardian, though, and then me not having creatures. 
or them getting rid of Vivian and then I don't have enough power. Hope they just have a couple of lands in hand with the Narset and then Narset whiffs. Yeah, there's there's no there's no emergency bans. Emergency bans are like when there's not a BNR announcement, like, and they ban something. They moved the ban the BNR announcement up from last month to to Monday, and I think that was a big mistake. I I talked about that over on my Patreon page. I think that they should have given more time after the Mythic Championship than what they did. my scales I will call the dragons so that's a huge problem so they manually tapped like that that has to be Clarion so that's just the the worst possible thing that could happen my opponent killing Vivian and Only time. The killing the growth chamber guardian that's just the that's just the worst I've lost so much already. I won't lose. You fight like a city brat. So we have to say Sarkin. And then we have to have this Ceratops has to kill Teferi so Teferi doesn't bounce the spy glass. But they still have Narset, so we're not we're not doing great. I'll protect you. Uh, no, Sea Drino was was in standard for like 24 months because Sea Drino was a, a fall set card. That was Kansa Tarkir. Right? And so, like, it would have just been like a fall set card's in standard for two years. The focus and discipline. Right? No do they just... Meditate. Do they have an early rotation then or something? Nine minutes? I, guess I I should have ticked up on Vivian first. I will consume you. That I, I don't know why I didn't take up on Vivian first. I was just being lazy. I guess I was considering Linusing. You can still walk away. But this had vigilance. It could at least block Sarkin if they find something to get rid of Spyglass. Put thoughtfulness before. Come on, whiff. Whiff. Okay, so they, they did have the early rotation then. I just don't quite remember. I remember that they were going to, but I thought I thought they never actually ended up having the early rotation. But I couldn't. I, ha, I've seen worse. I wasn't sure about that. I'm pretty sure they didn't have early rotation because I remember playing Siege Rhino into the summer at like FNM and stuff. I guess I just have a, a wrong memory there. This was overwhelming. 
when Shadows of Innistrad came out. Okay, so I was thinking. I guess I was thinking of the the summer before that, before Shadows came out. Yeah, it has haste, trample, reach. Can't give a vigilance. Gross. So I wanted to get their Narset out of there because you know we have a lot. We have ways to draw extra cards. Sarkin, you're not even doing anything. There's nothing to watch. Such violence is upset. You're doing nothing over there. Making a Mobu Brawl deck? That sounds sweet. Yeah, my opponent's playing very slow over there. They may time out. Scry two to the top. I'm probably dead. I'm probably dead. Spyglass is naming Sarkin. three of these games I've hit nine land drops had nine mana before we find the great henge so we just hard cast great henge um so question is what if spyglass said that they the whatever you name your opponent can't play would that be too strong for standard like They've had that with, like, Meddling Mage. You know, it's a 2-2 creature that you could name a card and your opponent can't play that card. It's like they've had that on a creature. To have it on, like, a colorless artifact... I'm not sure. Like, Because a creature is really easy to interact with. You know, just any removal spell gets rid of the creature. Yeah, that's true. They had a Gideon's Intervention recently. It was a white enchantment that did that. So the effect is not too strong for standard. It's just, you know, like where you're pricing it. If it's too colorless, artifact, maybe. Yeah, and that's true. It was part of Ixalan's Binding. Yeah, I guess pretty much Amortigo. Amortigo is three mana. You can't play this spell anymore because I'm taking it out of your deck. <laughs> uh, they have so many of those. those who cannot proceed beyond the veil of reality. I am that card's so good. This game, we only drew one, vi you know, like, like I said, we have like the 17 spells in our deck. This game, we just drew one of each Vivian and, and one Spyglass, I guess, now. It's been kind of crazy how little spells we've been drawing. 
The mind is a tempest that I guess we drew that thing too, the Wildcrafter. Quell your temper. So if I attack Mu Yanling, then they cannot make a 4-4. Four four. If I attack Narset, then if they minus, Narset's gone. I will consume you. You cannot see your folly. I do wish they would change this to be 25 minutes, not 30 minutes. 30 is kind of absurd. But I guess they, they need to improve the uh, gameplay issues that they have, though. Keep an open mind. But it's still kind of absurd. Yeah, Sarkin's spike last. Yeah, so, so opponent has three and a half minutes. It should be plenty of time, because, you know, like a 4-4 four, four, they can get with Mu Yanling. Should be able to get him there. I'm kind of assuming they have Dovin's Veto Do by now. River. I played a Dovin's Veto every game. Did not activate castle. Learn some respect. That's just not gonna work. I just shouldn't cast that. Cause you know, I cast it and then they just ether gust and just tuck the incubation druid and then I draw zero cards. So I think I want the ability to to adapt and cast this return to the wild speaker instead of dealing a single point of damage. your temper. Alright, so I can do this now. So they have to get rid of both of my three threes at instant speed for me not to draw three cards. So you can just use that Dovin's Veto.
My opponent really should have been making 4-4s, four though, to try to win this a little faster. Probably. I am not going to sit this one out. Well, that gets rid of Sarka, and that's, that's, like, that's definitely the card they needed to win in 50 seconds. That that gets rid of the spyglass, so they can use Sarkin again. That's more like it. Or, or not. Or not. I will listen to them roar. I will listen to them roar. I don't really see my opponent I don't really see them winning this in 17 seconds The dragon does not lose They ran out of time. My opponent definitely could have won that. They would have just been minusing, minusing the other planeswalker, bouncing the spyglass. The green castle adds an additional mana. Um, basically, it turns when you have five mana, like four plus tapping it, you can turn that into six mana to only cast creatures. And activate abilities of creatures, though. <laughs> yeah. You thought this was a fast deck? Well, fooled you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I should not have won that game. If opponent played more aggressively, they could have had that pretty easily. Yeah, my, my deck's not helping us out here very much here, though. Yeah, correct. Yeah, there's no timer in best of one. Timer's just in best of three. All right, we got a Great Henge. Arena is acting like it needs a reset. We only played one match, so I was thinking of like getting out of the match, it would be better. But still acting pretty bad. Field of the Dead. I think this is the first time I played against Field of the Dead today. I think it is. I'm known for my excellent time. This might be a bad idea. Got something new. Maybe we face it with just guy. No, we did not face it with just guy control for sure. So yeah, this is the first time. Ugh. Oh, I've done the hero thing before.
suppose that's how it was meant to happen. My woo. Dude. Yeah. So it looks like my opponent wants to use a sweeper. I'm a questing beast. think I guess not they wouldn't beanstalk giant first right I guess they may have to just for mana wise if they wanted to cast beanstalk giant also all right no sweeper just a bunch of tutus <laughs> hey waifu I agree Hawkeye's the best <laughs> a 10-10 we're gonna have to get a bigger we're gonna need to get a, a bigger puppy So Yorvo doesn't die to a giant sweeper if my opponent has a giant sweeper. Uh, no. No, I wouldn't say there was a never-ending pile of Simic decks today. Was it yesterday? Two days ago? Whenever we, did, whenever we did the 12 hour stream, I guess that would have been Wednesday. Wednesday it was a never-ending pile of Simic decks. Wildspeaker does not give trample. I didn't really, I didn't really want to do that trade immediately with Questing Beast and Beanstalk Giant. That's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, we just drew all sorts of lands. That was cool. No. We don't want to naturally draw the, the Growth Chamber Guardian. Looks like the opponent doesn't want to trade either. Hey, waifu of Candace with a sub. <laughs> well, there we go. Now, now waifu of Candace, you get to use all the emotes.
Giant Sweeper broken. need to find questing beast These things are 13 13s Our deck can do a lot of cool stuff. The the giant sweeper though, with you know having you know like these twelve twelves and then kill everything else. Looks like that's gonna do us in. Unfortunately. <laughs> we played we played Mowu with Henge uh, earlier than the Mo. They killed my Mowu with the sweeper. <laughs> we can still survive this attack here. Next turn's gonna be rough though. I guess I could play I could play Mowu next turn. Lag. Ugh. Why is this lag so bad today? I can't even block. I like to. I would like to stop blocking here. Oh my. Oh my gosh. This lag is so bad. Yeah, we really need to reset arena. That was bad. I did. I read. You know, like they they just had like the you know, uh, arenas had like their October update, where they did talk about all these performance issues, and that's what they were going to really be focusing on in the in the next, you know, like right you know like right now, uh, and, and hopefully over the, the upcoming months they can fix these performance issues. Alright, we played the Mowu, but come to think of it, maybe we should not have played Mowu. Oh, I 
am going to love tearing this place to the ground. We're fit enough to survive. Yeah. I guess I, I really should not have played Mobu. Could have had a bigger voracious Hydra. I could have had, let's see, so I could have had Voracious Hydra kill Golos. Would have made it lethal. Would have made it close. I had to hope my opponent did not block, like, didn't realize these things had trample. That was my play here, was Vivian put counters on them, hope they don't realize that my creatures have trample. Mawu. Uh, between sweepers, agent of treachery, I don't really know how we're getting through this. Besides it just being aggressive. Nothing here on my sideboard really looks like anything I want. If that last Mowu in our hand was a questing beast, though, I think we could have won that with, like, you know, questing beast giving, you know, Vivian giving questing beast trample. Uh, still probably not. If they block correctly, no, we still wouldn't have. What are we looking at? What are you looking at? Godman God with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Godman. I really appreciate that. And welcome to the channel. Yeah, Monday's going to be pretty interesting. I could I could honestly see a lot, a lot of things happening in standard. I could also see nothing happening in standard. It, it'll be it'll be interesting to to see what happens. Oh. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, the Sultai build went really well. You know, like we, you know, we won all five of our matches over there in uh ranked uh, we did not play against Field of the Dead, and I, I'm i not sure how the deck would do against Field of the Dead um, too much because of that. Like, we, like I just don't know. But against, you know, like, we played against, like, the Marty Humans a couple of times, and that felt pretty good with having um, the Wicked Wolves and everything. Yeah, it uh, it went it went really well. Um, 
I really, I'm really glad we added the 25th land. I think I needed that. Nissa was better than I thought it would be. But Nissa. Nissa is also a card that isn't isn't amazing against Field of the Dead. And you know, like we didn't play against Field of the Dead. We played against other creature decks. And Nissa is very good against creature decks, making the three threes every turn. Yeah, the problem is Nissa against decks playing sweepers that kill your creatures. So they want to bounce Wildborn Preserver. We do just get to replay it and draw another card. I can adapt Incubation Druid to kill to Fairy. That doesn't really seem worth it. Mowoo! Um, I, I don't really want to overextend too much into a sweeper, but I guess... We are drawing card. Like we are drawing a card here. I'll protect you. Uh, I I don't watch it at all, Narinen. If that's that's what you mean, I, I don't watch it at all. But I, you know, I see like the results and the deck list and all that kind of stuff. And you know, I, you know, I'm playing arena every single day. Hawkeye's kind of sitting in front of the screen over there. That's why I keep looking over here. But now, like the Mythic Championships, on like while I'm streaming and stuff, I don't, I don't really watch it. A bad idea. Okay, so we definitely need to do this for five. I think I'm just going to do this for eight. Just use all my mana. Well, great hand just keeping us in there. This is hardly my worst defeat. So, yep, yeah, had to kill the the Golo so they didn't get to bounce it.
Well, that is terrible. Choking out I invite you to change your ways. That is obviously terrible for me. We have backup great hinges. You are fouler than a fiend. Your new look is mm. enchanting. I was hoping that was not a land in, in hand and that these two could kill Loco. Ugh. That's what I was hoping. Not over yet. Uh, I, I should be out of these, right? I mean, I need to draw. I need to draw Vivian. There we go. Okay, it's not over. Now Vivian can kill Oko, and we have you know a third Great Henge. So even though even if this you know even if Oko turns this Great Henge into a three three. I guess if I make this block, Vivian's not killing Oko. I'm just going to say no blocks. We're at 30. We're fine. Yeah, so much for this being a fast <laughs> deck, though. Surely you see the humor here. Okay. So seven, eight, nine, ten. So just a mi enough mana for Great Henge and for Vivian. I am Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Fine, remain We're gonna blind. tear you apart. I think I just sit back here though, just playing the Vivian, because maybe I can trade off the Great Henge instead of one of these other things. They do have to be worried, you know, like they're at seven, so they have to be worried about me coming back and attacking them. So that worked out well. Did not work out that well. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have cast this other Great Henge, but they're legendary, so then my 3-3 would have died. So I wanted to block with the 3-3 first before playing this. But yes, I could have cast that Great Henge. Do I want to draw three? Nah.
I'd get out of the way if I were you. Am I gonna draw five? Woo! No. Castle only adds man if you cast creatures, and I was playing Great Henge and Return of the Wild Speaker. These are not creatures. So I can tap Incubation Druid to play one of these, but then I only have three blockers. Gives it personality. Teamwork is strength. We gotta have Jing Yang Zhu put a counter on Mowu, though. We gotta have that. We gotta have that. That's gotta happen. Man, we are like out of lands. So many land. They draw Golos? Why don't you just draw a land over there? Your, your deck's a million lands. I have just as many lands in play as you do. And you're the one over here casting, like, I don't know, ramp spells like that. I have just many lands. We only have 24 in the deck, but still, so this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so that's 15 lands. I mean, that's, you know, so there's 9 left out of 23. Like, that's that's not really, I mean, that's that's very reasonable. Wow, they did rip another Golos. What a draw step. Wow. Hmm. Let's see if you're worthy. I mean, I, I want to find. I want to find more Vivian Arcbow Ranger. For the fallen. Questing Beast is good, but Hydra is necessary because of Golos. We can't can't really let them just sit back and activate Golos. So nine, ten. So it's twelve, thirteen, so eleven. I could tap these other creatures for another mana source.
Be your best self. Yeah, Mo will be your best self. Just give these creatures trample. So we need another Vivian. Well, we've seen one Vivian so far. So there's two other of these Vivian Arcbow Rangers in here in our last 19 cards. Do we know anything about the bottom cards? All right, we know it's not one of those. So I'm at 12 minutes. This is game two. Yeah, Mo has trample, but I mean you can't really trample over a 12-12. Like these, so these two have trample. I guess that's two with trample. I want this thing to have trample. Also. <laughs> what are these cards that they're drawing? Are you kidding me? Now they get to just Kenrith put Golos back into play? Are you kidding me? Their last three draw steps have been Beanstalk, Giant, Golos, Kenrith. Like, obviously, I'm drawing millions of cards here with the Great Henge, so, like, you know, I'm not just drawing one card a turn, though. They're just drawing one card a turn, and those that's been their three three draws. Like, Beanstalk, Giant was awesome, and then Golos, and then Kenrith. Like, those are, their last three turns have been incredible. I don't have... I don't have any spells left. Strike now, strike hard. That's game. I, I can't beat this Kenrith. They get to just like this Kenrith just gets to keep returning Goloses. Went through nineteen lands. All right, I'm going to reset Arena, even though we've only played two matches. It's been over an hour and a half for those two matches. Thanks, hairdresser. Yeah, I tried. I tried. Just didn't, didn't work out. But I was trying. Okay, we're back to our league. We're one on one. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think our draws were good enough to win. We need my opponent, like, I need my opponent not to draw what they did three turns back to back to back. Like, their deck has just tons and tons of lands. I need them to just, you know, draw a land. It's like half of their deck. And this was, you know, we had two more of these in the bottom 12 cards of the library that we, we couldn't find. I need I needed another one of these cards for sure. Yeah, Oko got rid of two of my henges.
Yeah, Ken wrote this tough. What's up, Stroud? Thanks for keeping on that 11-month streak. Double ones. It's like our record. Double ones. Thanks, Kenrith. I appreciate it. Or, sorry. Thanks, Stroud. I appreciate that. Oh, we we're just talking about Kenrith. <laughs> All right, Vivian. Dear to dinosaurs. Start landing this incubation druid. Have lots of mana. My, my. How you've grown. Looks like our opponent may be playing control again. And so maybe another really long league. Or a long match. Because Golos is basically a control deck. You know, like, they're just trying to ramp and play sweepers. So that's hard to fight through. We just played a couple time wipe decks so far. <laughs> Let's see. So we just saw Hallowed Fountain. Hallowed Fountain. Let's cut Voracious, bring in sh Shifting Ceratops. I think I should be bringing in, I mean, this card needs to come in. Maybe I should be playing. It's 19 creatures. It's not many creatures. Maybe we should be playing Veil of Summer. I think that was like kind of a mistake I had before was not playing Veil of Summer. I'll just play two Spyglass, and we'll play a couple of Veil of Summers here. So far, highlight of the league was we had Mowu, uh, a 3-3 Mowu got to attack Teferi that was on three loyalty. So we had Mowu got to finish off Teferi. That was pretty sweet. No, Veil of Summer doesn't counter Time Wipe. Time Wipe is just a, a global effect that destroys all creatures. This stops your permanents from being targeted. Uh, but, but Time Wipe doesn't target anything. Um, it's, yeah, it's hard to say what's going to be banned in standard, if anything, because I could honestly see, so this is, so they morphed into a Simic deck. I could honestly see a lot of different things happening. I could see nothing happening. I could see Field of the Dead getting banned. I could see something happening with Oko, Krasis, a Boreal Grazer. Every tale about me is growth spiral nonsense. once upon a time Absolutely true. I invite you to change your ways how this thing goes is up to you there is wonder in a blade of grass obviously I could see I could see none of those happening Golos I don't say that card um I'm just saying like that I could see something happening with with like those lesser ramp spells. Um, or something like Krasis that's in, Krasis is in basically all the Oko decks and in all the, the Field of the Dead decks. I could see something happening with that card. Oh dear. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. This will be fun to watch. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? So they had to block with Krasis to keep their Oko alive. Uh, 
But we still do a damage to Oko. So it's a game you're interested in. Yes, I, yeah, it's it's very unlikely they ban Oko since Oko was just printed. But Smuggler's Copter was printed before the next set came out, or like it was banned before the next set came out because Smuggler's Copter was too I'm format warping and stuff. And But then like the next set had um, another vehicle that was kind of similar that could have at least... Huh. Could have at least done some work against it. And the next set had, like, Fatal Push. Um, and then, like, the set after that had a Braid. And, like, you know, like there started to be a lot more answers that, that would have been for Smuggler's Copter. So I, I don't know. But again, like... It, like this is what I talked about over on my on my Patreon post, was that, like the meta game, like the Mythic Championship meta game is, you know, like out of whack, and you know it it makes it seem like there's only like two things to be doing in standard, with like Oko or Field of the Dead, <clears throat> but that's just that's just naturally going to happen whenever you have a 68 person tournament where the players are all working together you know like they're working together in different groups trying to find the best thing that they can play for that tournament it's not a surprise that there's only a couple of decks that are brought to the table and then like that's just that's just going to happen and then when you you have just a couple of decks like that um then like the people around the world like your your regular arena players are going to want to play those same decks that the players in the mythic championship are playing that's that's completely natural and like those are like the 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 decks that people are playing at that time so like this weekend is going to be filled with the decks from the mythic championship whenever you just play arena and obviously on the, the mythic championship as well so like whatever data that wizards wants to point to right now is going to show a very skewed metagame and that's that's the case every pro tour weekend in the past that's just how that's just, like there's not really any other option like that it's not going to just be like people bring tons and tons of different decks to a mythic championship whenever everybody's working together they want to bring the same decks and then everybody else wants to play those decks so that's just kind of what happens so basically what i'm my point here with saying this is like that this is completely natural for a, a very skewed metagame to be happening at this moment in time. That's very natural. And Wizards making ban decisions about that on Monday is is very can can be can be like an, an overreacting. It can can be much of like an overreaction. Um it's, you know, really, really quick, very hasty, and, like, they, you know, if they, if they do, like, ban anything, like, no matter what, you can have the numbers to show that it, it should be banned because of just this setup of what's, of what a Mythic Championship with 68 players and, and everything, like, what it's going to do to skew a metagame. So, yeah, they could have, so, like, no, so I'm, I am a little worried that it is, like, a knee-jerk reaction, and... Like as Let he said there, and lost. that um, if they would wait, maybe the metagame figures itself out because you know, like right now, everybody wants to play like those Mythic Championship decks, which makes sense. So you know, we see tons of Oko and Field of the Dead everywhere, but the more people play with and play against those decks, they're going to find holes in them. They're going to find weaknesses, and you're going to find other ways to attack them. That's just that's just gonna happen, and you're gonna find other things to do, um, other parts. So like, that's just kind of what happens. And um, and so like over time, you know things change. So I I think it would have made sense would have made a lot of sense to have like the BNR announcement hey, in you know in like the middle of November. And then, like, at that point in the middle of November, you can see if it's still Oko everywhere and Field of the Dead everywhere, you know, like, whatever cards you want to say. You know, if it's still, like, 
this, you know, if there, if there is like a, a big problem, then you know, like there's a problem. But you got to give people some, some, you know, like days, you know, even, you know, weeks. You, you got to give people some time to like play the different decks and play with them, play against them, and start uh, letting the metagame evolve. So Monday. I'm not losing ever. Monday is a very I've early time. Oh, I, I had to play this before Vivian died. Whoops. Monday's a very early time for banning. All right, well, I kind of messed up because I was talking. I'll blame it on that. Because Wizards has to decide not only what is a problem now, but what is going to continue to be a problem into the future if they don't make any change and then and also if they do make changes is, is that going to have any negative ramifications on anything else that can happen they have to decide all of that after watching the mythic championship this weekend and everything and make all of that by monday and that's kind of a rough spot to be so i th i think that moving up that announcement I can see them wanting to be proactive and wanting to have, like, you know, if there's any kind of problem, be able to change something immediately. But with this format, there's going to it's going to look like there's more of a problem than what there is. Um, basically, no matter what, like you like the the metagame percentages are just completely skewed for a 68 person tournament like that. All right, so to our match, we're playing mono red. Had a very, very good hand there. I'm not sure if I want Titanic Brawls. Like, if they have, you know, like the 1-3 Flyer, we're going to want the Titanic Brawls. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take these out. We'll get a couple Brawls in here. Maybe, yeah, not this Evolution Sage. Okay. So I wasn't trying to say that it's it will be wrong if they if they make any changes if if anything gets banned. I'm not I'm not trying to say that 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 will be completely incorrect, you know, because I yeah you know, that would be a a knee jerk reaction on my side. I don't know. Well, like you know, we'll just we'll just kind of see like what happens. Maybe nothing happens. Maybe something happens. We don't know. We'll see. But I'm. But what I am saying is that I think that is. Moving up the announcement is an incorrect move. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's what I talked about over on the, the Patreon page. If y'all really like my my videos, everything, my stream, why don't you consider signing up for the Patreon? It's just three dollars a month. And that's what I'm gonna do is put, you know, thoughts and things like that over there, sideboard guides. And that kind of stuff. And, and I wanted to make it cheap. You know, a lot of people can hopefully afford that. It's just, like I said, just $3 a month. So check it out over there. I'll just put a, a link in there. Patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. We had... Sweet, somebody else signed up. We've had two people sign up today. So that is awesome. All right, so Boro Grazer's tapped, right? Yeah, it's tapped. So I, I want to play this. If, it, if that was like Gross Spiral where it's untapped, you know, obviously we could play that, then Yorvo, but I want to get Yorvo in play. So assuming... Uh, Mm, that's a bad assumption. I was going to say, assuming Yorvo survives. 
Yeah, that's kind of a bad assumption. I'm gonna say, what should I do with Vivian? Interesting. Also interesting. You love Yorvo? Yeah, Yorvo's pretty cool. I'm gonna play Mo Wu. It's probably better to play these really powerful mythics. But we're a Mo Wu deck. I'm playing the Mo Wu. Alright, cool. Didn't get punished. More counters on Mo Wu. What rightfully belongs to it. My my, how you've grown. Mo Wu needs counters. More counter Mo Wu. All right, we're three and one. Ramp is not usually this good in standard Suvisec. This is a, a pretty unique uh, time. It's, you know, a card like a Boreal Grazer is, is very rare, like a one mana card that puts land into play. Grow Spiral, we haven't had a ramp that good at two mana since, you know, rampant growth. But even, like, Grow Spiral is so efficient. Um, even Circuitous Route, being able to go find, put two dual lands into play at four mana. We just don't really have... Um, We don't usually have, I guess I shouldn't say always, we don't usually have this good of ramp and standard. Right, Grazer's not a defender. <laughs> I probably should not have attacked with Grazer, but oh well. <laughs> so hopefully we draw a land. I can't block. Hopefully we draw a land and get to go Great Henge into Growth Chamber Guardian. I can't block and, you know, let them... Uh, kill my questing beast. 
this turn because I, I need to be able to do Great Henge into Growth Chamber Guardian next turn. We need to draw land. Yeah, you want to find the the list from earlier? Yeah, we had we had a both the, the previous two decks that we played both felt really really good. So yeah, there there you go. Thanks, Luke. That's there's a stream decker page that has all the links. But then also, if you want to check them out on the YouTube channel, youtubecom MTG there, and the YouTube channel has the links to the deck lists in them as well. So if you want to see the gameplay, like those those two decks felt really good. Uh, Soul tie we played in ranked. You know, like. Um, you know, we went 5-0 in Mythic over there, up to like number, I don't know, 100 or something after that uh, over there. So yeah, we went 5-0 in Mythic with that Soul Tide deck. It felt really good. So yeah, check check out those videos over on YouTube for sure. Ugh, no land. I need that land. I needed that land. Yeah, you want Jeskai Super Friends in ranked tomorrow? All right, I'll write that down. Um. Yeah, for, for Patreon, you know, like you, you have to make a Patreon account and then, you know, it tells me like whatever your name is listed on Patreon, it tells me that that's who signed up. You can, you know, put whatever you want for your name on Patreon. Oh, you just got to make a blocker. Um, I th I think the Teamer deck is more powerful than Jeskai, but Jeskai was really impressive. Counter spells are just uh, positioned really well right now. Uh, this puts me down to two. I guess I have to block with Questing Beast because if they have if they have uh, if they have Pump Spell for if they have Pump Spell to kill Questing Beast. Chance for glory. We cannot survive that. That's cool. So they'd have an additional combat phase after this one too. We would have three three combat phases there. Hmm. So Titanic Brawl, Voracious Hydra. Cut a Vivian. Cut a Return of the Wild Speaker. Cut a. The Evolution Sage, and what did I just do against Mono Red? I feel like I gotta take out one of these things. I'm gonna cut the other Vivian. Thanks, Anatran. Yep. I see it says you signed up there. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you. So, yeah, playing this on turn one, I guess we may find... It wasn't a good shot, but we could have maybe found the Boreal Grazer to have turn two Yorvo.
Is it better just to play the Wildborn Preserver than Incubation Druid? No. This is the undead avatar. All right, I'm going to I'm going to be risky here. I could so I could have just brawled immediately there. This thing is an instant, right? Yeah. I think they're going to attack I block, they have some kind of pump. No, it didn't happen, but. And then I Titanic Brawl, and maybe I could get a two for one. Or mono green instance. That's not a good card to play. Mm. Still have two mana left. Yeah, Incubation Druid adapting this is pretty sweet. What? Oh, right. Tajik. No! My turn to make a big mistake. Tajik. So, yeah. So, like, Tajik prevents the non-combat damage. Titan's Brawl is non-combat damage. <laughs> Whoops. So, I want to get rid of the Bounty Agent, because the Bounty Agent can kill the Questing Beast. But Tajik prevents... Uh, protects the bounty agent. Mawu. So yeah, my opponent threw away a removal spell, and so I just did the same, you know, throw away a removal spell also. Only fair. Only fair. Questing Beast ability does damage to Planeswalkers. Tajik prevents damage to creatures. So, so yeah, like, they, they don't, they don't really affect each other. Tajik prevents your damage to, like, your other creatures. 
need of more land. We get more land. I wanted to keep my four mana sources. Like a Boreal Grazer speeds you up, but isn't a mana source. And then, you know, my two really powerful cards are Questing B, so I want to keep both those. We played, we played against Mardu Knights twice with Sultai mid-range. So yeah, Mardu Knights is around. We played against it twice there. And played against it another time with Jeskai. I think my opponent's going to get this one. You know, they have, like, more removal for this questing beast. That's a good sign. Yeah, but they have, if they have any instant. So let's... Yeah, if they have any instant, I'm dead. So what's my best play if they don't have an instant? Block Vindicator, we trade. Two, four, five, six. Block here. I'm taking four, six, eight, going down to three. Yeah, this is my best play if they don't have an instant. If they have an instant, I'm dead. That's an instant, I'm dead. Three and two. Yeah, so my yeah, my plan is to go one o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Like that's that's like my normal Sunday time that I want to have every week. The only thing that gives me a little bit pause for tomorrow is um is like maybe it's a little bit better to to wait to go three o'clock because of the Mythic Championship. You know, like we have like more viewers come in here after the Mythic Championship is over. Um, but I guess, I guess I'll probably just still do the one o'clock tomorrow and just, you know, keep with my new schedule with that. That'd be the, the thing that gives me pause to want to start at three though. Anyway, there's mono green Mowu. So there's, you know, playing Mowu over here. Um, as I talked about at the beginning, as far as Mowu goes, I, I did kind of want to play, um, Gruel to get more more ways to put counters on Mowu. You know, Gruel gives you Domri's Ambush and Grum Goalie. So like, you know, if you play Grum Goalie first, Mowu enters with a counter on immediately. And then I, I would have played like some Rhythm of the Wilds. You know, give like Haste Mowu or Mowu just enters as a 5-5 five five right away. So it would have gave us those three cards, but there just wasn't a whole lot else in red that I wanted. And I wanted to be able to play Vivian and I didn't want my mana to be too bad while trying to play Vivian. I didn't really care about, you know, like Yorvo would have been replaced with like these other three drops we would have replaced Yorvo. But so we ended up going mono green and I think it worked out pretty well. Like our, our deck had a whole lot of card advantage. We got to play it really late. I'd say one card that I was really impressed with, honestly, this return of the wild speaker, you know, it was a draw five. It was a draw six. I guess we play it once as like a draw four after questing beast. 
you know, five mana draw four. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. This card honestly looks pretty good. I liked this one here. Um, but yeah, I think I, I liked like the deck just kind of in general. Uh, I know there was somebody in in the Discord channel before asking about a a mono green, you know, kind of like mono green Stompy, but a little bigger with a lot of counter stuff. This this is a good option here. The deck the deck would be better if like you know it would it would win more. I guess I should say that not better, not better. It would win more if uh, Yang Zhu and Mo Wu. Or maybe some other cards, you know, like if we're playing like Shifting Ceratops instead of Mowu, for example, or something else there. Um, maybe instead of Mowu, if we had like a um, Biogenic Ooze instead of Mowu's. But it would not be better because Mowu is the best. So that was cool. That was awesome. So yeah, so thanks for the donation deck here, Kendis. Anyway, that's it for Mono Green Mowu. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like, subscribe buttons over there, and leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the deck, or just you know other things in general. If you got questions, you know we had the we had the longer discussion about uh, the BNR talk. Um, you know, so feel free to leave your comments about that. Also, um, that's it here. Uh, yeah, so you you would do the splash red for the the riot creatures and stuff. Yeah, I could I could definitely see doing that. You know, I, I yeah, I really wanted to play Vivian Arcbow Ranger and wanted the mana to be good. And there was just basically there was just enough good cards in green that I didn't feel like I had to, but that would up the power level probably going with a little red s splash. Um anyway, that's it here for Mono Green Mowu. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.